five hit Australian shows coming to Edinburgh Fringe 2023. Hello, my name is Matt Hale. I'm a comedy hypnotist. I'm actually bringing my own show, uh, Top Fun 80s uh, Hypnosis Spectacular. It's an 80s themed hypnosis show uh, to Fringe. You can see it on the screen there. Um, but there is a really big problem with Fringe in Edinburgh, and that is there are so many shows. Look, look. That, I'm just, that's a search of the whole of the whole program, right? Nearly nearly 3,000 shows. So it's really tricky to know what to see somewhere. So I thought what I'd do, I'd get a few recommendations. I've already done a couple of the big festivals around the world already this year, and I'm coming from Australia. And I'm going to um, let you know about some other Australian acts who are also coming over who have been well-reviewed, uh, five-star, like five award-winning. You've seen them on TV if you've been over here. Um, so they're kind of like a bankable show to see. So, um, And also, in a moment, I will also give you a recommendation recommendation for one of the most unique shows I've seen at Fringe Festival. So let's get into it. Um, for, well, no, there we go. There's me. Um, but look, it's not about me. Let's get on to my first recommendation here, which is uh, Dom Chambers, an incredible magician, a boy in his deck. Really, really fun magic show. It's not your old style magic show. And uh, and, and Dom, you may have even seen him circulate, and he, he certainly went viral uh, after his appearance on America's Got Talent. I mean, he's he's been on Foolish as well, and America's Got Talent, and did incredibly well on there. Um, if you look up his beer trick, it is incredible. So Dom Chambers, the boy in his deck, come from Australia. Um, and yeah, as with all these, you can scroll down and see what they're all about, and um, yeah, the dates and the venues, of course. So moving on. Let's get to actually a very good friend of mine, actually. Uh, this is Joe White, um, Ethiopian by uh, birth country and now Australian by uh, the country he lives in. Uh, very, very funny. And again, he's been making some waves on the international scene. Um, he's been you know, selling out shows at different festivals, uh, but also he's been not only touring different countries, but he's also been opening for some really big acts. And in fact, recently when uh, Umid uh, Jalili was here in Australia, um, Joe was opening for Umid as well. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing though, uh, those guys will catch up when uh, when Joe comes across for Edinburgh Fringe. But Joe White, Ethiopian and still not hungry. What a great title for a name um, and a really, a really nice guy, really great show. Um, okay. Let's get on here. Who is up next? Oh, <laughs> we're going all over the place here. Disney in drag. Now, note that Disney is spelt with a Z because this has nothing to do with the actual Disney. Please don't sue them. Um, <laughs> but Disney in drag is definitely a fairy tale for the adults. Um, uh, mostly adult themes, <laughs> ridiculously hilarious, costumes amazing. And this show has been, I think they've been running this show for th about three years. I've bumped into them in various different festivals. They're actually based in the same city as me in Australia, in Perth, Western Australia. Um, and the Harry Godmothers team who, who um, make this show incredible. And uh, I know they've just been, when I, at the time of recording this, they've just been killing it at Brighton Fringe as well. So um, put that on your, on your list there. Disney in drag. Uh, let's keep moving on. Um, who we have up next? Uh, another comedian, We're kind of zipping across some uh, more comedians here. Uh, Amos Gill, The Pursuit of Happy Ish. Uh, Amos has been hard to ignore in Australia and, in fact, in the US as well. Um, he, he's been doing a lot of stuff in the US, um, doing a lot of work with Jim Jeffries. So that's the caliber of people that. Uh, that Avos has been performing with and around, and of course headlining on his own in his own right as well. Um, I came off the back of uh, Adelaide Fringe, where I think we both did you know, 27 shows there each, and uh, Amos was absolutely killing it uh, over there. I think I think Adelaide's his home city as well, but um, incredible. You will see him on TV. You'll see him touring with incredible comedians, but of course headlining in his own right. Uh, Amos Gill, The Pursuit of Happish, fantastic comedian. Um, you'll see him at Gilded Ballroom at the uh, Teviot. And uh, <laughs> did I tell you, I'm going to tell you about one of the most intriguing or well, most uh, unique shows uh, I've seen at a Fringe Festival. It is award winning. They've been on TV and it is the adults only bubble show too, or bubble show for adults only too. Uh, Yulia and Kurt, oh my goodness, what a double act. They do actually run a bubble show for kids as well. Please do not ever get those two shows mixed up else you could be in trouble. But the bubble show, it's even hard to explain, but it's one of those ones that I always just say, say to people, well, trust me, go to it. Occasionally someone will hate me for it, say like it was just completely not their thing. But more often than people are like, 
will come out and say, I, I have no idea what happened, but I absolutely loved it. It is stuff you with bubbles in like technically just insane, but also as just a production and fun, crazy show. It is wild. So bubble show for adults only too. If you look up there, Australia's Got Talent um, <laughs> audition, uh, you can see the judges being absolutely amazed and a little bemused at what they just saw as well. Uh, but look, that's uh, there's uh, four or five shows there, um, five hit Australian shows coming over as I am making the journey across to Edinburgh Fringe 2023. Um, and hey, I'd love to keep in touch with you. So please do, do the usual thing, you know, hit the subscribe, hit the bell to so get alerted in the new videos. Um, but also what I'd like to do, if you can, just leave me a comment in the comments and let me know what, what kind of shows are you interested in? Uh, and I'll try and give you some more advice or pointers or some tips or bits and pieces uh, to do with Fringe. You know, do you like comedy? Do you like magic? Do you like dance? Do you like burlesque, uh, drag, circus? Or, I mean, there's so many different kinds of shows. So let me know in the comments what kind of shows that you're really looking forward to. Um, and as I said, make sure you hit the subscribe, like, and uh, the little bell alert as well as well, because that will let you know um, about my next video. And the next video I will tell you coming up is uh, what are we doing for the next one? Um, oh, that's right. How you can get your hands on the full Edinburgh Fringe program 2023, um, a printed, printed version, even if you don't live in Edinburgh or even if you're coming up to Edinburgh, but you want to get your hands on it before or even if you arrive in Edinburgh or live in Edinburgh, I want to know where it's going to be. Uh, it's not out yet, but you can actually even get it before before you arrive and way before the festival starts. So I'll let you know that about that in the next video. But nice chatting and I will see you on the next video. Cheers.